This thing's a little moldy. Yeah. It's been a while. Yeah. It's, uh, it's lovely, though. Very nice. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Where's the coffin? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. I have no idea. Yeah. Two years, you know, things just slip out of your mind. So. Yeah. I get it. No idea. Ah. <sighs> It's weird that it's uh that it's been that long. Yeah. It's been two years already. I mean two years that's longer than we did the uh whole of Unisonis. Mm-hmm. It's actually weird if you think about it, it's been three years since the idea first was born. <laughs> you know. It's true. Thinking about that uh, that night when we wa- when we launched the channel, mm-hmm. um, it doesn't it doesn't feel like it was two years ago. It feels like longer. Honestly, I don't know if it feels like it's been a short amount of time, but Unis Honest for me feels like it was like a decade ago. It feels so far away. So far away. Yeah. I mean, the one year anniversary of the death felt like it was just yesterday that mm-hmm. it had ended. Now, yeah, I get what you're saying. It's distant. It's faded. Mm-hmm. Like it's faded really quickly, which is fine. Mm-hmm. Like that's, that's what happens. It, it always does fade. You know, mm-hmm. things just kind of do. But do you think that with that fading, that the um, that the way that the channel impacted you has changed, like it has gone from this big thing in your mind to something that you just did a few years ago? You know um, what I mean? I mean, no, I, I doubt it is for you either, because. What it is, is all of those lessons and all the learnings and, and all the things that came up about it and the stress and the joy and the pain, like those just became part of me. You know? mm. I incorporated all those things and carried it on to the work that I did. You know? Maybe not to the same degree of uh, relentlessness that Unifonis was, but, you know, I definitely learned a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it doesn't the the way that it affected me hasn't changed i think that it it hasn't faded at all i still i think about unisonis a lot not not necessarily in like a oh i miss it and like i do miss it but i think about the way that it affected me a lot and the way that it changed me and the way that it changed the way that I operate, like not only as like a person making videos or whatever, but like just day to day, I feel, I feel like I, I learned how to appreciate stuff a little bit more with Unisonis. And I feel like with different things that I've worked on and different things where I'm like, I want to try and appreciate this more. Unisonis taught me, I feel like how to do that. Because I feel like I've I've never like lived in the moment more than than I did with Unisonis. Mm-hmm. And in a weird way, like it, with living in the moment, it's both appreciating it for the moment and also realizing that a lot of the moments in between don't matter, mm-hmm. which can sound scary. And I get it. Like it, it may seem counter to the message to be like, oh, every moment matters. But it's like there's a lot of moments in between that don't matter that are still really, really important. Mm hmm. Like time's going to tick by no matter what. They can't all be incredibly important seconds. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I just, I just really love those calm ones. Mm-hmm. You know, the moments in between, the moments after like an upload just went up, mm-hmm. and there's a little bit of rest before it's like, okay, get the content engine going again. You know, I'm, nice. I miss, um, I miss that grind a lot. Like, I, it's different. 
I don't even necessarily know if I miss that grind. I miss the the feeling of togetherness that that we had, all three of us. Like, I miss that feeling of being able to work with people like that, you know? Because I I don't get that every day, and I know that you don't get that every day. And, like, I miss... Um, I miss that routine a lot, and um, I think that it's very easy to feel kind of lonely, um, and I think that despite a lot of hard stuff that happened in that year, both like personally and obviously the world, like I think that Unis Honest in doing that was one of the times where I felt the least alone ever. And I'm, I miss that a lot. Mm. Least alone in a time when the world was incredibly alone for a little bit there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I get that. It's funny, I've, I've worked on a few things since Unis Honest with other people, but it was never the same, you know. It's always with um, a lot of people who it's their job to work on the project. And not that there's anything wrong with that. People have to have a job. Um, and thankfully, I've, I've been able to work with people that were almost as passionate about the idea as I was. And that's a lot to expect out of someone who you just met for the job. Um, I've also had the opposite. You know, a lot of people that were on these just for jobs, you know, they, they didn't have any passion for it. And I, I, I find that so curious. You know, I would, I would be so passionate about something. I'd fight for something and they, they, no one would fight back for what they believed in because they, they didn't believe in it. And they didn't see the feeling of it and they didn't see the potential of it. And it's like, I, I kind of felt bad that either through, you know, being jaded or just not having the opportunity to really embrace the, the joy of, of making things and the joy of like what Udin Sonis was and the temporary nature of it and the, the potential of it, you know. Like a lot of people out there just miss out on it, even if it's gone and you have to let go of this idea there's more out there mm. so uh, it's funny because this year um you know i think there was a lot of people in the first year of it ending that there was still a lot of talk about about unisonis and what the channel was overall and what the channel was to people individually um but now, and this will continue to happen, is that, and I say this like almost selfishly in a way that like the channel getting further away from it being alive, it's like turning it more into this legend, which is really <laughs> cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, because I, I've, I've talked to so many people and seen so many people in this last year that have that have said like, oh, you know, I, I wasn't there for Unis Honest or um, I was there right at the end or like even some people like I just found out that Unis Honest was a thing and I wish that I could have been there for it. But it's crazy just seeing it morph into more of this like little YouTube legend where it's like, yeah, not everybody got to experience it. And that number of people will only grow as time passes of more and more people being like yeah I wasn't there like I wish that I was but I I wasn't and I'll never be able to see that and I wish that I could have been a part of that yeah and it's like of course there's never going to be another Unis Honest there's not going to be two Unis Honest as much as people joke about it mm -hmm. like it's just it, it couldn't happen if you understand what it's about you know why it couldn't happen mm -hmm. but at the same time I don't think that the idea itself is going to be gone forever. I think that I would hope that someone else could make something that they're just as passionate about, that they have the right circumstances for, that they have the right talents for to, to just make something for the sake of ending it. You know, there's, uh, I think, I don't think that we, as much as it's cool to have like a YouTube legend, I don't think that we're some exceptional, unbelievable, godlike creators. Mm -hmm. Maybe we are, who knows? Time <laughs> will tell. But it, like, we're just, there's just few people that like making things, you know. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's what it's all about. I think there was something so 
so beautiful about um, about the willingness to let it go. And that's something that made it so much more special. And I know that, that that's something that we've talked about a lot, which was the whole meaning behind the channel. was It was special because it had to die and stuff like that. But like going day to day, I don't feel as excited as I did with stuff with Unisonis. I still feel excited and um, and I still feel passion behind things, but there was this certain feeling that I got with Unisonis where every video felt, felt special in a way and every video felt exciting and like it had a purpose. And I think a lot of that was because we knew that it was going to end and every day that we put out something, no matter what it was, it was, okay, that's another tally mark on the wall, getting closer and closer to everything going away. Um, and it just, um, I don't know. I, I still haven't found a feeling quite like that. And I can think back on times in Unisonis and I can feel like how I felt during that time. Like if you get like a weird smell and it like triggers a memory, I get that a lot with thinking about Unisonis. Yeah. Um, no, it's it's uh, it's a show of feelings. You know? mm. It's a, the whole channel was just based around a feeling. Uh, not a lot of people get that. Not a lot of people can get that. You know, there's this concept that uh, human thought is not necessarily in words. Even though if we think in words, we think that's how it is. But we're just thinking in words of the things that we're taught to translate our feelings into. In reality, feelings and emotions are the fundamental human language in making things with feelings in mind would should seem natural and yet is so counterintuitive and especially the darker feelings you know mm -hmm. the feelings of loss and nostalgia and, and um pain and and things ending you know people don't like to embrace those feelings but there's there's beauty in in those feelings because there's, there's beauty in like the human experience and that is uh to quote lion king you know the circle of life uh it is it's just, just, just just, uh, man, you I, I ever tell you I'm super profound in the way I talk <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I say words real good, you know. Here's a an interesting question. Um, mm -hmm. Just because I know you pretty well and I know the way that your brain works with certain stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that Unisonis was also like a testament to that with the way that we were willing to let things go and how we knew the purpose of the channel and stuff like that. And I know that everything isn't ha black and white. Oh, <laughs> but do you do you ever feel sad about Unisonis? Like I know that overall, I think everything is kind of bittersweet, and a lot of it is is pride, um, where you feel proud of the things that we made. But like, do you ever f feel sad about it? It's uh, it's a difficult question to answer because sadness is not necessarily the same. It's it's not a simple emotion, right? Because mm -hmm. you can cry tears of joy, you can uh, you can have extreme pain at, at happy and you know sad memories. For me, I'm never really sad about it. Mm -hmm. I'm really not. Uh, that may seem strange to people, but then again, you know, it was part of part of the channel that was trying to rip people's hearts out intentionally. Um, but no, I, I, I don't get sad. I do feel very strongly, you know, the same feelings as when it was starting and ending. I resonate with those, but I wouldn't call it sadness. Mm -hmm. Whether or not I, I miss it is a different thing. I would not equate that to sadness, but of course, yeah, mm -hmm. I miss it. I miss those moments. I miss mm -hmm. the the grind of videos, and it's oh, we can never do it again. We oh. can never make videos again I've ever. It's the biggest tragedy of them all. <laughs> <sighs> that is, it's it, it's kind of a weird thing because like. The stuff that we've made 
since then. Um, I've I've felt like it's always been fun and enjoyable and stuff like that. But sometimes it's like <laughs> sometimes it's very hard um, because of Unisonis. It's almost like stay with me here. <laughs> it's it's almost like being good friends with an ex in a way mm. where like we've made videos and it's been really fun and I enjoy doing it. But sometimes it's just like, oh man, it makes me a little sad where it's like, oh, like remember what we used to have. <laughs> you know what I mean though? Nathan, I won't take you back. Yeah, look, <laughs> we can't do it. <laughs> What's you know in what the I past mean? is in the past. I know. No, uh, I get that. You mm. kind of, uh, and again, don't take this the wrong way. You kind of do these videos and you, you record it and you, you're like, all right, cool. And you ask yourself, but well, what was the point of making that? Mm -hmm. You know, what, what was the meaning behind it? Other than just making content, which is fine. Mm -hmm. It entertains and it's fun. But if you have seen like a glimpse of what real, real meaning is in something, you kind of look for it everywhere. Mm -hmm. you, know, you look for it everywhere. And if you want to find meaning, I got you a present. Present for me? Yeah. If you look under your chair, there's a... Oh. Uh, Otter Pops. You got Otter Pops? Otter Pops. Are they melted? They're not melted. Okay, good. They're not melted. They're good. still very much alive good, good. and intact. Good. You want to you know, just see some water pops? Do you remember the the video that this was from? Or the it was probably multiple. Yeah. So we recorded multiple. It was probably Brick Soccer. I think it was Brick Soccer. Brick soccer. <laughs> Great idea. <laughs> Cut to five seconds ago you being like, you want to find true meaning in something? <laughs> yeah, kick a brick, brick for after a while. You, you do that when you step away, being like, oh, yeah, this is going to make people feel something. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that was the whole thing. Like, it didn't matter what the videos were. Oh. That's kind of. There'll be someone that dissects this all with better words than we ever could in the true meaning of it. But the thing is, people feel it. Mm -hmm. You don't necessarily need to translate it. Sometimes you do for the people that weren't there to understand it. But for those that were, like they get it. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I think it's, it's nice that, you know, as a whole, the people who were there, they all have this kind of thing in, in common. Um, and I think it's nice that the community sort of lives on and that people are able to still get meaning from it. Um, like a friend of mine who wasn't like a fan of the channel. He's a good friend. He had an Unis on his shirt on and he was walking down the street and somebody just looked at him and like gave him a knowing nod and was like, nice shirt. Um, and I just think it's cool that people can have that kind of relationship with each other through the memory of the channel and people can still like get the meaning of it you know and still take that with them mm -hmm. i don't know yeah it's nice it is nice they'll there'll be less and less people mm -hmm. every year but yeah for those that it had meaning it really really had meaning mm -hmm. it's beautiful that people are willing to share you know, I know we joked about it at first, just being like, oh, redacted or whatever. And people really took that up. Uh, it, not in the way that I was intending. I never, never wanted people to forget about it or pretend it never happened. Yeah. I think people did. I think actually I just realized right now that is what people did to compensate for the pain of it being gone. You lean into humor and you lean into like inside jokes. Because mm -hmm. it really did hurt. Yeah. A lot of people, it hurt real bad. So 
for some, it might have been easier just to deny and feed into that joke. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just pretend like it didn't exist. Mm -hmm. um. But it did. Yeah. That's what matters. Mm -hmm. It's nice to... It's nice to be able to come back every year and just think about it. You know? And to just talk about it and to remember what it was and to remember all of those times. Because I I think about it when it's honest a lot, but not on this kind of level where I just kind of sit and think about it a little mm -hmm. bit and um, sort of allow myself to remember, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. It's, it is really like, not as severe, obviously, but it is really like grieving a friend who passed away in a way, you know, because we'll never, we'll never be able to get that back ever, you know, no matter what we do in the future, even if we were, and we won't do a Tunis on us, it would not be the same. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not the same thing. People won't be able to relive that, you know? Um, Unis on us will never be able to happen again because it won't ever be able to happen for the first time again. And that's kind of what made it special. Um, and so it's nice to kind of be able to remember and grieve in a way um you know what's like, uh, yeah. an even sadder thought though mm. is if we were to do this every year which mm. who knows maybe we will if we were there'll come a year someday where one of these chairs will be empty mm -hmm. and then both Probably because one of us will be canceled. Like, let's just be honest. <laughs> let's just be perfectly honest with each other. Here. I'm not talking. To... <laughs> if we're faffing about about Unis Honest in 20 years, God help. <laughs> I hope we're not doing this in 20 years. Uh, you want to eat some otter pups? Yeah. yeah what something. color do you want? I don't know. What do you got? Green. Last prize. All right. <laughs> That's sweet. Do you need scissors? Nah. Don't throw the scissors. I got. What was that, Amy? Don't throw the scissors. Throw the scissors. I think maybe you should. Well, don't. Don't do it. <laughs> Is he going to do it? No. Okay, good. No, I won't. Hmm. Amy, you want an otter pop? Amy doesn't want an otter pop. Come on, Amy. How about otter pop? Come on, Amy. Okay, girl, oh, come on. Throw Amy an otter pop. Otter pop. <laughs> she caught it. Which one of us is going to die first? <laughs> <laughs> I hope it's me. Yeah, I hope so too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Man, these suck. They're smaller than they were a couple years ago. Mm. Shrinkflation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Shrinkflation. They were. Someone just blew up the old video of you holding an otter pop. Mm-hmm. Side by side. Oh, no, we didn't have otter pop. Yeah. That was the point. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Memories. All right. Huh? See you again next year. Yeah, I'll see you next year. Okay.